Can I ask you guys something on this? Sure. Um, do you know why those like aren't all the same price on those Puma? Let me show oh. you on the tag. <laughs> so they all say 25. I was just like, well, they're not all the same price. You know, like, are they all 25? Or did I mix them in there? Something there. That one's 25. Right. I'm sorry. Keep trying. That one's 25. Thank you. Thank you. And that one's 25. Is this one 25? They're all 25. Yep, and that yeah, one's 25. Yeah, that's, that's like 100 bucks, right? Wait a and then it plus minus no, stuff. I should have got 20%, well, 25% like off. 25% off. off of the Puma, right? Whatever that is. Why is it doing that? You know, it was going haywire when the uh, girl back there was ringing it up. Okay, so this one, we need to um, adjust this one. I'm not on the clock, so I can't do it. So, uh, say, stay 09, 07, 23, R, 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 R
really a tribute to the hard work that these uh, employees put in every day for J.C. Penney. And I know who personally feel embarrassed by this kind of thing, and naturally, because, um, you know, it's not something that's an honest business practice, and everyone recognizes that. But what goes on across the entire J.C. Penney chain in a global sense is absolutely horrendous in that these Puma t-shirts are misrepresented just about everywhere I can find them. So um, this means that people everywhere are likely, um, you know, being overcharged this $22.50 uh, for these uh, $25 t-shirts. And then, um, you know, the notifications that take place are, you know, usually handled by, uh, you know, small little increments and, and corrections as they're caught. But in the larger sense, uh, that you can be sure that these profits are substantial when you see entire chain, entire campaigns, entire um, sales lines misrepresented and not ringing up in, you know, even the 50% range on accuracy. Um, you know, I invite anybody to get out a percentage calculator and go and take a look at this versus what's on the website, what's on their system, whatever it takes. Anybody that can help with this, they're more than welcome to contact us by the, you know, the email contacts. I'm sure I'll be weaving in here, but, you know, as far as, you know, the employees go, they do not deserve to be demonized in this, in my opinion, really, certainly at this Flint location at all, because I know that the individuals working in here are well-meaning, and though they did pay me, in my opinion, wrong here, and they only paid me for one Michigan bonus and should have paid me for two, I still, you know, feel like this is the right step forward, but they don't have the system, they don't have the tools. You can see that they're thrown, you know, many different things, but this is during a period when they're not busy. So, you know, thankfully we were able to get some help from an employee putting in their own time because they don't want to make them, you know, the company look bad. So, you know, commendable efforts by employees. And, you know, I do appreciate you know, some of this old timesiness that goes with the, you know, being able to go to the mall here in Genesee Valley in Flint, Michigan. And, you know, it's still nice to go and talk to somebody about some new outfit that you're going to get. And they are friendly and helpful. And we're not looking to demonize those type of people. And those aren't the people that really we think are, um, you know, the, the worst offenders here. It's, it's the people that are in the marketing and in the, you know, systems programming that, um, are just relying on whatever profits and buyer beware mentality of uh, let them catch it and uh, we got to get what we can get so with that uh, I'm going to sign off here in Flint, Michigan uh, thanks again for watching and let's keep them honest